We've known for many years that a lack of vitamins can lead to sickness, but now an eye-opening study is linking vitamin D and cancer in a way we've never seen before. Morning anchor Anita Bland explains why the common nutrient has never had so much potential. It's new at six. The studies just keep coming, the evidence mounting. Low levels of vitamin D are now linked to so many illnesses, from breast, colon, and prostate cancers, type 1 diabetes and asthma, to multiple sclerosis and heart disease. I even think of vitamin D as the fountain of youth, if you will, uh, in that it uh, allows us to age well. That's the hope, and nowhere is the evidence more compelling than here in this laboratory, completely devoted to research on vitamin D. Take a look at this flask. These are human breast cancer cells taken from a woman who had breast cancer. Now watch what happens when you add a potent form of vitamin D. They appear to just shrivel up and die. The longer they're treated with vitamin D, the more of an effect we see. What happens is that vitamin D enters the cells and it triggers this cell death process. It's similar to what we see when we treat cells with tamoxifen. A drug used to treat breast cancer now. And when researchers took human breast cancer cells and injected them into mice, well, the tumors in those mice given vitamin D drastically decreased or disappeared. It is amazing. It's, it's a very dramatic effect. The real test, however, still remains. Will vitamin D work this way outside of the laboratory in people? Anita Blanton, Eyewitness News 5. Researchers say they have seen similar results on colon and prostate tumors in mice.